Are solar batteries worth it? Look, solar batteries are not for everyone. In fact, most solar homeowners are not gonna save any extra cash by adding batteries to their solar system. However, for some homeowners in states like California, Arizona, and Texas, adding batteries can be very profitable. In this video, I'm gonna be answering the question of are solar batteries worth it? And if you watch to the end, I'm gonna be giving you some strategies on how you can maximize your payback. Okay, so why do people install batteries? It's typically for one of three reasons. Uh, number one would be to save money. And I'm gonna explain to you in a little while how a battery can be used to help save you money off your electric bill. Uh, number two would be for emergency backup power. Now without batteries, most solar power systems are not going to work during a grid blackout. But by adding batteries to your solar power system, it allows you to run the house independent of the electric grid, solar during the daytime, battery power at nighttime, and then the next day, the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need during an extended blackout. This is why I consider solar and battery storage the most secure emergency power supply. And then the third reason would be if you're in a truly off-grid situation where, where maybe you, you don't have any access to utility lines, so you need to have batteries with your solar system so you can run in an off-grid fashion. Again, like I just described, during the daytime, solar powers the house, charges the batteries. At nighttime, you draw off the batteries to power the house, and then the next day, you repeat the cycle again. So that's why people choose to install solar batteries. Now, in terms of how batteries can save you money, it's typically one of two operating modes. Uh, the first is what we would call a self-consumption mode. Now with a self-consumption mode, essentially what we're doing is, we're telling the system, I wanna use my own solar power and my own battery power first, and I only wanna use utility power as a last resort. So in that scenario, again, you're, you're directly powering the house on solar during daylight hours you're using any of your excess solar to charge into your battery storage system, then you're drawing off the battery at night to power the loads within the house, and only if the battery falls below a critical threshold will we pull any power from the utility. So this is called a self-consumption model, and this is especially profitable for those of you who live in areas where you have high electric rates, but where your power company does not offer a full one-for-one -one buyback. So again, if you're watching this in places like California, Arizona, or some parts of Texas, installing a solar and battery system and configuring it to maximize self-consumption is gonna give you the best return on investment. The other way you can use the battery is, is for what's called peak rate avoidance. And peak rate avoidance is for those of you who have utilities that during certain hours of the day, they charge a much higher premium price for electricity than other parts of the day. Now, typically this peak rate hour is going to be late afternoon, early evening, which just so happens to be when people are getting home from work, they're powering on, they're cooking their dinner. Uh, they're also, uh, it's when the central air conditioning has to run the hardest. So the reason that these are peak rate hours is because the, the demand is very high during those hours. So you could program your solar and battery system to pull off the battery primarily during those hours to avoid having to buy from the power company. And then you can let it either recharge the battery during off peak hours or just wait till the next day and let the solar panel recharge the batteries for you. Uh, by the way, if your utility has just changed its solar buyback program or changed its peak rate hours, go ahead and post a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, of course, if you'd like to speak to an expert to talk through the different options available in the space, uh, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, book a Zoom call with a solar expert, uh, or just use our free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Now, one of the trends that we're seeing emerging in the solar market over the past 12 to 18 months is the single platform, all-in-one solar storage and energy management provider. Meaning that you're getting your solar inverter, your battery storage, your load control for the house, your backup transfer switch, um, and in many cases, your electric vehicle charger as well, all coming from a single provider, all controllable on a single app. Which is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Point Guard Energy. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Point Guard Home. Point Guard Home gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, battery storage, bi-directional EV charging, and intelligent load control seamlessly integrated on a single platform. The system is built using a modular stackable design, allowing you to start with a small solar plus storage system and easily add more battery capacity 
or the DC EV charger at any time in the future. So if you'd like more information, go to the Point Guard website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Point Guard for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now you're gonna find that most solar batteries fall into one of two chemistries. Uh, the two prevailing chemistries are both lithium-based chemistries, and those are lithium NMC, which stands for nickel manganese cobalt, as well as lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. Now, the current state of the art, the, the lithium iron phosphate is really emerging as the current state of the art, best in class for in-home battery use. Uh, and the reason is because the lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry is more durable, meaning it can endure more charge and discharge cycles. Uh, but more importantly, it operates at a cooler temperature and there's less risk of what we call thermal runaway, which is basically the battery catching on fire. So LFP is the safer, more durable chemistry, big reason why it's now preferred for in the home use. Now you're also gonna find that most solar and home battery systems fall into one of two categories, AC coupled or DC coupled. Now, when we talk about AC coupled or DC coupled, what we're talking about is where does the connection between the solar system and the battery system take place? Does it take place on the direct current side before the electricity has to be passed through an inverter? Or does it take place on the AC side at the AC circuit breaker panel? Um, in short, AC coupling is generally considered a, a cleaner wiring method, especially when you're adding battery storage to a house that already has solar power. If you can do that wiring at ground level at the AC circuit breaker panel, and you don't have to change anything of like the wiring on the roof, the AC coupling is the more efficient, cleaner wiring, especially for retrofit. Whereas DC coupled is considered the more efficient wiring method if you're installing a new solar and battery storage system. And the reason is because both solar cells, solar panels, and battery cells are natively direct current electrical devices. So if you can keep the electricity in that format when you're doing the solar to battery charging, it's just a more efficient charging. Uh, by the way, if you wanna learn more about AC and DC coupling and different types of batteries and which ones are the most efficient, go back and watch our previous video where we do an in-depth presentation on that subject so you can understand exactly what you're getting yourself into. So this has been a presentation on are solar batteries worth it? Uh, again, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. Now, of course, again, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote from installers in your area, uh, or you just need to talk through your options, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a Zoom call with a solar expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all again for spending some more time with us. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.